Hello, I'm Kyle from Shepard Motorsports, and today we're going to do a detailed breakdown on the Qualifier DLX helmet with MIPS from Bell Helmets. This Bell Qualifier DLX helmet is very similar to the traditional Qualifier helmet, except it has some creature comforts that are new and improved, if you will. The first is going to be the transition shield. This is going to be a photochromatic shield that when you're in direct sunlight, it's completely dark smoke. As you transition into shade, it gets lighter, and when you are in the dark, it's completely clear, as you see here. The second feature this helmet features is this COM port right here. You can attach either a Cena or a Cardo headset. It has provisions for both, so that you can seamlessly integrate your headset unit directly in to this Qualifier DLX helmet. Those are two striking differences between this DLX helmet and the traditional Qualifier helmet. Now that we've covered those two, let's take a look at this helmet from the front to the back and then onto the inside to see just exactly what you get with this great helmet from Bell. Starting with the outside construction, we have a lightweight polycarbonate shell. This is going to be a polycarbonate ABS shell that's going to be extremely lightweight and very protective. Moving to the very front of the helmet, we have a nice ventilation system. It's a one slot up for closed or down for open. When sliding this vent open, you're gonna have two different effects. You're gonna have wind or air that's gonna come up in through these vents and come out through these holes, allowing a defog effect here on the visor or face shield. The other effect is the fact that you're gonna have air that's gonna come directly in these vents and come into the whole chin bar area of the helmet. It's gonna give you fresh air whenever this vent is open. Moving up to the top of the helmet, this is a very different piece than the original qualifier helmet. We're gonna have another brow vent, if you will. So you have another set of vents that open up here that allow air to come in through the top of the helmet and pull air in and over the crown of your head. It's gonna be a very great feeling during the summertime when the weather gets warmer. Moving up towards the top of the helmet, we have these two sliders up here on top. They're gonna to allow wind to come in through these vent holes and flow out the back. Moving the helmet around, we're gonna have two exhaust vents here at the top that are always open and two exhaust vents here at the bottom that are always open as well. Again, these are Venturi style vents. What that means is air is gonna come around the helmet and as the air passes past the helmet, it's gonna draw air out of these open vents that are always gonna be open here on the back of the helmet. And that is what we're gonna have as far as the venting goes on this Bell Qualifier DLX helmet. Now moving down to the face shield or the visor, as you can see here, this is a transitions lens. That means when you go into bright sunny places, it's gonna be a, a nice dark shield. And when you come out of those sunny places into more shaded conditions, it's gonna turn into a gradient of gray. And when it turns nighttime, it's gonna be nice and clear as you see here. So three times now, I've taken the helmet out to the outside and we've attempted to shoot this thing transitioning from clear, which you can see right now, this thing is pretty darn clear, to the dark smoke transition that it turns into. The problem is, as soon as I take the wrapping off this helmet, it turns dark enough that the helmet does not appear that it has a clear visor or shield to begin with. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it this thing up like it's some special top secret project up here in the studio in an attempt to have no light get to that visor so we can get down and you can see just how fast it actually turns. Now, let's step outside. Now getting the shield off the helmet is extremely easy. It's a very easy, quick release. You simply pull this tab right here and the shield is released on either side. To reposition the shield, you just keep it in the open position and snap it into place. Now that we've done a full walk around of the outside of this helmet, let's talk a little bit about safety. In addition to being DOT and ECE rated, this helmet also has a special component called MIPS. Now what MIPS does is it mitigates rotational control of your head or specifically your brain while inside the helmet. Now we'll take a look at that in depth as we get into this helmet and take out the comfort liner. You're gonna see the MIPS slip system there at the base of the helmet right there where it meets the EPS. Now the inside of this helmet is a very soft microfiber type feel as a hand wash only pad um, for the cheek pads and for the comfort liner. I think that's due to the microfiber material they use here. It's a very, very comfortable and a very soft material. 
The side cheek pads are held in by three different snaps and the comfort liner is held in by two snaps in the front and two snaps in the back. We'll get to that here in just one second. Before we do that, let's take a look at the closure strap here. We have a dual D-ring, very common for Bell in all of their helmets. Now looking at the bottom of the helmet, we have the contoured cheek pads here on the side that come all the way back to the back and kind of tuck into place back here where they make contact with the comfort liner that goes over the crown of your head. You're also gonna notice a chin skirt on this helmet up here at the front. That's gonna be a little bit different as well than the original qualifier helmet that comes in at right around $109. These are gonna be extra features and benefits that you're gonna see on this DLX helmet that we don't see on the initial or the original qualifier helmet. Now it's time to dig in here, get these cheek pads and comfort liner out so we can take a look at that MIP system and the EPS liner on the inside of this Bell Qualifier DLX helmet. Now when digging into this helmet, these cheek pads are held in by two different snaps, one at the front and one at the back. Now in addition to the two snaps that we have, we also have this ridge that's gonna slide in between the cheek pads or the, the EPS liner and the outside shell of the helmet. Please note that the cheek pads for the standard qualifier helmet do not fit the qualifier DLX. Now moving over to the other side, we have a snap here at the top, snap here at the bottom, and then we're going to slide this one out as well. Moving to the comfort liner, we should have two snaps in the front and two snaps in the rear. And then the comfort liner is gonna come out all as one piece. Now looking down at the microfiber cheek pads and the comfort liner here, they do say hand wash only. Now, these are nice contoured cheek pads and they do have a feature in them that I really, really like. If you open up the mesh pocket right here on the inside of the ear cup, you're gonna notice a nice pocket that you can easily slip a helmet headset speaker into. That's gonna allow your speaker to sit nice and close up against your ear. Now there is one last component that can be removed from the helmet and that is this chin skirt up here at the top. You simply pull it out, it snaps out. There's three different snaps that keep it in place if you want it. Now I don't know why you'd want to remove it. It is a great feature and it keeps wind from coming up underneath the helmet and kind of disrupting a dirty airflow inside the helmet. So if your helmet has the ability to have a wind skirt, I highly recommend that you do run it. Now looking into this helmet, now that the cheek pads and comfort liner have been removed, we can see a couple things. The first thing that's gonna be glaring is that yellow crown there at the very top. That is going to be the MIPS component inside this helmet. Now quite simply what that is is a slip system. So what happens is when your head is in a traditional helmet and hits something, your head stops and then your brain shifts inside your skull. What MIPS is doing is it's mitigating that rotational force, that rotational impact. The helmet's gonna hit, you're then gonna have a shift on the inside of the helmet, eliminating some of that initial jarring effect before it comes to a stop. And then your brain on the inside of your skull will take up just that last little bit. It's gonna completely eliminate that initial boom, blunt force that you're gonna get when your helmet hits the ground. Now come in close really quick and I'm gonna move this liner around so you can see just exactly how that functions. You're gonna see here that this MIPS liner has quite a bit of movement or room for movement here on the inside of the helmet. And that's gonna allow your head to be able to move and shift inside the helmet if an impact were to occur. The other thing you're gonna notice here with the cheek pads and the liners out is the fact that we can see straight through to the vent holes on the outside of this helmet. This is a very, very well ventilated helmet. Bell has a system that they call their velocity flow ventilation. That's gonna give you perfect airflow while wearing this helmet. The other thing you'll notice are these large speaker cutouts on both sides. That's gonna allow you to install either a Cena or a Cardo unit with ease. Now that we've taken a look at the outside and the inside of this helmet, I'm gonna go ahead and put this helmet on and explain to you how it fits as I am doing so. Now my head measures 55 and a half centimeters. That is halfway between the 55 and 56 centimeter size range that this helmet says it fits. As far as fit goes, I wanna talk about how this helmet is a more round helmet than it is oval. I can definitely feel a little bit more space here on the sides. Um, it is a great fit front and rear. Throwing glasses on, it's not a perfect fit, but they do fit back behind the EPS liner here very nicely. I could ride all day with comfort, 
having glasses on inside this helmet. As long as those glasses have a relatively thin frame, I am going to give it that caveat. Slipping the frames in is a little bit tender, if you will, but once they're on, they have a really nice feel inside the helmet. Now I'm going to give you a 360 degree look here of what this Bell Qualifier DLX helmet looks like. Now this helmet is available in an extra small through a 3XL. There are three different shell sizes and three different EPS sizes. So there's a lot of adjustability when it comes to this particular helmet. I am gonna say that wearing this helmet is a little bit more snug or tighter fitting here in the chin bar area than some of the other helmets I've worn from the Bell lineup. And there you have it, the detailed breakdown of the Qualifier DLX helmet with MIPS from Bell Helmets. Thank you for watching today. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more action like this coming directly to your inbox, please hit that subscribe button and more importantly, the notification bell. Until next time, and as always, take care and ride safe out there.